Hampshire House. Hampshire House is an apartment building and hotel located at 150 Central Park South in Manhattan, New York City, on the southern edge of Central Park, between 6th and 7th Avenues. It contains 155 apartments on 36 floors. History Origins Hampshire House started as an addition to the Hotel Morris on West 58th Street, designed by Coy and Evans. The original plan of this tower, in 1926, was an apartment hotel called Medici Tower with 39 floors. The tower would also include offices. Later, the tower piqued the interest of the Architectural League of New York, which, as a result, attracted a lot of attention throughout the country. By 1938, K. Ferguson Company of Cleveland, Ohio, was the new owner. Coy and Evans designed a new plan, an apartment hotel with 34 floors, called Central Park Suites. In this new design, which would be shortly named Hampshire House, Coy and Evans wanted a balance between traditional and modern architecture. The New York Times describes it as an adaptation to the modern tall building of the Georgian style such as is found in many old homes in the county of Hampshire, England. The exterior will be a black and white chromium steel. The Central Park South building was envisioned as a narrow tower with a dome, but the plans were changed to a 36-story apartment hotel in the Regency and Art Deco styles. Hampshire House already had a planned media event for its opening in 1931, like other famous projects of the Roaring Twenties. Hampshire House was listed as a new way of luxurious living of suites proximity to a lot of the most famous amusement sites. With the onset of the Great Depression, however, the builder walked away, the mortgage was foreclosed upon and Hampshire House went into receivership. It joined a group of buildings around the area, known as Series Seamanist Two Guaranteed Mortgage Certificates, who had defaulted mortgages from the New York Title and Mortgage Company. The Seamanist Two properties were rescued by the New York State, Supreme Court Justice Alfred Frankenthaler, and were forced to complete the building themselves, as they could not find any reasonable buyers. They hired Coy and Evans again to continue with their plan. Operation The previous trustees of the Hampshire House sold it to the Kirkheavy Group in 1946. The Kirkheavy Group controlled a lot of other prestigious hotels around the country. Later, they merged with Hilton Chain. Hampshire House does not offer short-term stays anymore. All cooperative apartments are owned by someone and continues to thrive due to its luxurious and elegant residency. The building is known for its welcoming staff, interiors, architectural distinction, and outstanding location. Architecture Interiors The trustees hired Dorothy Draper, an interior designer, in order to make people want to live in a building which was at some point an empty shell on one of the most visible streets. Draper envisioned the building as a traditional London townhouse. She included a small lobby and a garden with a fountain and pool to create the atmosphere of a Georgian townhouse in Britain. She also designed a restaurant within the building called The Cottage that soon became one of New York's well-known party rooms. The Cottage Room this room was a major venue for luxurious events like wedding receptions, dinners, luncheons, and other celebrations. There were several famous celebrations including Bee Gees' performance in 1971, Ubi Blake's 90th birthday party, Calvin Klein's wedding, among others. The cottage completely closed in 1986. Publications The Hampshire House opened on October 16, 1937. The New York Times at Campaign noted, New York's newest exclusive apartment, hotel has the entire length of Central Park as its footstool suggests a London townhouse in a Hyde Park setting. Hampshire House appeared in many magazines and gates of New York. Architectural Record posted a photo of Hampshire House's lobby in January 1938. Lawton Mackle says decor by Dorothy Draper creates the illusion that this is the dining room of a fabulous country estate looking out through the orangery. Craig Claiborne says it had one of New York's most stylish dining rooms. Services and Amenities 
Hampshire House used to have a florist shop, and not just any florist shop. It was run by Beatrice Mann Florist to the Stars, who operated in the shop for more than 40 years. There was also a barber shop and beauty salon that closed as they became unnecessary. As the hotel was evolving to a high-end cooperative, the turndown service became optional. The Hampshire House replaced a newsstand in its lobby as seen in many hotels to direct New York Times delivery to each resident in the co-op. Entirely new services have been introduced like a gym, car services for residents and a pianist who plays twice a week in the lobby. Residents and Guests Some of the residents at the Hampshire House stayed for a short time, as it also functioned as a regular hotel, while others were long-term residents. Early Residents Some of the first residents in the building, according to the New York Times, were John Hemingway, Anne Morgan, Rodman Wanamaker II, Edward H. Rice, Charles Warren, etc. Ray Bulger leased an apartment at the Hampshire House in 1940. Guests George Abbott stayed at the Hampshire House during Broadway season. Some of the other guests included Lucille Ball, Ingrid Bergman, John Wayne, Greta Garbo, Peter Sellers, and Django Reinhardt, among others. Marilyn Monroe stayed at the Hampshire House for some time with Joe DiMaggio. Frank Sinatra and Ava Gardner were seen staying together at the Hampshire House for the first time. The newspapers announced Frank and Ava at the same hotel. Soon enough, Hampshire House was filled with reporters and paparazzi. Residents, residents, Jose Carras, Placido Domingo, and Luciano Pavarotti all lived. Carras bought his apartment in 1955, Pavarotti in 1983 and Domingo in 1977. Boxer Barney Ross had an apartment at the Hampshire House to store items during the State of Israel's establishment. Director William Wyler also lived at Hampshire House with his wife. Other residents include novelist Vladimir Nabokov, Art Garfunkel, Sonia Henney, and other notable celebrities. Julian Arpels, an heir to the Van Cleef and Arpels fortune, had his residence at the Hampshire House and died in his apartment in 1964.